Talk about busy, talk about successful, talk about funny, and talk about creative. You must be talking about our next guest. He's with Jill right now, and of course, he's talking. Isn't he, Jill? Well, Peter, he's gonna talk, and talk about quick climbs up the ladder of fame. Who else but Howie Mandel? And welcome to News Center 7. Oh, good to be here. Yeah, and to Miami, of course. I, I hope we get some sunshine for you. Before there is you... sunshine. There is? There it's is. out there? It's oh, out there now. Well, we just didn't see it this weekend. No, well, there. it's not inside. Yeah. I guess literally we should say to, to, to welcome you to the show, we should give you a hand. I mean, you have, you have done more for the glove industry than, than any spokesman who probably has ever worked for them, right? Plastic gloves especially. Yeah, well, I'm an ambassador for them. You are? I, I don't know, but I've, I think I've done more for the industry. I want to hold up my album oh, right. well, because okay. I'm in town but, and oh, the I Warner Brothers people are over there. Up. Oh, you yeah, hold it up. I'm going to hold it up. Are yeah. you going to hold it this up? This is it. Howie Mandel fits like a glove. No, I'm supposed to just hold up the album. Oh, just the album. Okay, yeah. you hold the album. I'll hold so the, the cover. Here. Yeah. Now, it's in record stores now. That's right, and that's why you're here, right? This is why I'm here. I don't know how you can pick just one thing to promote, Howie. Well, I did. I mean, you've got they so much going on. How'd you decide just to get out here and hustle the record? I didn't decide. The guy from Warner Brothers says you better get out there and hustle the record. Yeah. This record was recorded on, I did a 30-city tour, and this is a live um, recording of my stand-up comedy. See? That's an easy way to make a comedy album, huh? Yeah, and they also did an HBO special, but this is different material. Different, huh? Than the HBO special. Bill? Bill. Danny? Well, they gave them names so that people can. So uh, oh, they yeah. gave them names so that you can drop the needle where you want. You can call your friends over. So you got to hear this one. Bill. Oh right. What about I do the Watusi? That's something you've got a video of that too. I got right? a video. Well, that was yeah. the single that was yeah. part of the HBO right. special. That's uh, I do the Watusi. That's the the thing. It was a North American Watusi tour. Yeah. Only because I don't know how to do the holly gully. And you dance. Do I dance? Yeah. Yeah. I love to dance. What I'm a dancing you? machine. Yeah. I am. What don't you do? What don't yeah, I do? Yeah, right, that might be the better question Shakespearean for Shakespearean underwater puppet shows. I've never done one. Still to come, huh? I, no, I don't think I'm going to get into that. You don't? No. So, so there are some things that you don't want to do. You're doing movies. I have You've a got... movie coming out in August. Wait, you have two movies coming out Yeah, soon. I got one coming out in February, uh, one in August, the Blake Edwards movie called The Fine Mess with Ted Danson, and then one in February called Bobo the Dog Boy from MGM. Now, is that your first feature film? Which yeah, one? The, the, the fine first mess. one. The fine mess is my second. I also did m my cousin's wedding. It was in Super 8, and there's a shot of me dancing yeah? with my grandmother. That was right. my first. Yeah, but this is the first one that the whole public is going to get to see, right? Well, the whole public is allowed to see my cousin's wedding film. It's Are at you? my aunt's house just about every Saturday, and there's coffee. Yeah, what? Out. Yeah, and her name and address. No. <laughs> no, I'm not supposed to give that out, am I? No, no, you don't have to. Um, what What do you see happening right now that 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 you like to talk about the most? What do I see happening right yeah, for now? Yeah, for yourself. For myself? Yeah. I mean, what's the thing that you're most excited about right now? Getting to be a judge on Dance Fever. On Dance Fever. Is that going to happen? I hope it happens. I was watching it. I've been working it. I've been watching it, you know, from week to week. Did you see it last week? Couple number two had such great energy and great costumes. They, uh, well, I, I gave them that a 71. You gave them a 7? Was it, 71. Had a good beat and you could dance to it? Yeah. Um, seven years ago, you told me you were in Canada, Toronto, you were selling carpet. I, was, I own two carpet stores in, right. in Toronto. Right. Well, you're and, cutting a different kind of rug since then. I mean, seven years ago, did you see this for yourself? No. I'm, I'm just, uh, no, I never saw this for myself. I went down to California on vacation and went to the comedy store as a tourist. And it happened to be amateur night. And they said, anybody want to get up? And I got up. And there was a producer in the audience that offered me a job in television on a show called Make Me Laugh. Did you get that here? Yeah. It and worked. it was a comedy game show, and you had a minute to make somebody laugh. And for every second they didn't laugh, they got paid, which is wonderful for any comedian so to have an to, audience who's so paid not to, to laugh. You had to crack them up. I what had is, to. What is it about a person that makes them clever and creative and funny? The rest of us, I mean, some of us can't even tell a joke, and you... You well, I are don't just know. naturally funny. One director, the director who did that film, I think Mel the Fine Mess film, yeah, he, he, he said that you were the most natural comedian he'd, he'd ever worked with. Even better than Danny Kaye, he said. He said that? Yes. It was in writing. But, I oh, mean, I what gives that. you that gift? Where do you get that gift? Where do I get that gift? I don't know. I'm doing all the same stuff I grew up with. I mean, except when I grew up with it, I got thrown out of school for it and barred from a lot of places, and now people pay me for it. So I, it used to not be a gift. <laughs> Now it's a now it's a gift. I don't know. I don't. I never sit down and think about what I'm doing. I'm, all my stand-up comedy, most of it is improvisation. Right. You you don't just rattle off jokes. You 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 know you you take the moment and make something out of it. Right? right. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know where I am right now. Miami. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, it's good to be here. <laughs> you, you are pretty famous for your handbags. Uh, today, though, show everybody your, your bag today. I, this, uh, this is... is uh, for today? You don't be chicken about being on the show, really, Howie. Look I, at this. It's a, this is a, a chicken bag. This is it, today. Is this, this is, something new? The, well, this is not new. This is... Gee, uh, I hate to say this, Howie, but it's time to, to, to say goodbye. Uh, thanks a lot, and, 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 and good well, luck with, with your album oh, and your Oh, let's movies hold it up one more time. One more time. He wants to hold up the album. There. Peter?